Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by Neo or Neo. I'm not particularly sure how you pronounce it. I've never really asked anyone. And that's another love song. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. And yes, I still am very ill. I'm still very croaky. As you can tell, I might have a couple of voice cracks here and there. So yeah, I apologize for that. Just bear with me anyway. Now, I remember once upon a time, not so long ago, Neo, I'm just going to go with Neo because I think that sounds cooler, was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, pop stars around, especially during that sort of 2009 to 2011 period. Whenever a sort of Neo track came out, uh, you just knew that you were going to be getting some tasty tunage that would probably be featured uh, in the next playlist for your school disco. And it, he's kind of come out, sort of come back out of nowhere with this brand new track, sort of launching it just out of nowhere so should we see what i thought of it whilst i did like some aspects when it came to this track and the bass lines in particular i found really groovy and actually fairly technical they're not easy bass lines to play the rest of the song kind of just dragged on by for me and i never really found a single section that catchy or that memorable now don't get me wrong there aren't any glaring flaws here or anything like that and from a musical standpoint it's actually quite surprising to hear such a balanced pop track with a lot of organic instrumentation but the song does lack that sort of hummable hook or maybe even that decisive melody to really make it the summer anthem it could have been. I also think it suffers from sounding a touch dated as well and that's largely down to the vocals and the mixing in general and I did find the texture a little bit too watery for me. When it comes to the production of this track, as I've already said, it does suffer from being about five to ten years out of place, you know, in an outdated sense. Even though the bass has got a nice twang to it and it definitely has a wholesomeness behind it, really carrying that low ground, I did find that the rest of the instrumentals kind of garbled into one, hence making that really watery texture, as I've already said. Again, there aren't any glaring flaws here, and I actually thought the funk guitar also had actually possessed like a fairly decent clean tone, a really strong clean tone in fact but the EQs and perhaps the compression did make the song sound really heavy in the foreground or sounding a little quiet in the background so it did feel a bit sort of 2D two-dimensional uh, and it's not a particularly weighted mix I also thought the vocals were a little too clean for me as well as being a little too gated as well and I also have a sneaking suspicion that there might have been a little bit of sort of pitch manipulation in here every now and then and I mean the mix is decent but there is something missing and it might be down to a lack of cutting edge since the percussion never really cut through at all uh, whether it be snare wise or cymbal wise or it was just missing that cutting element when it comes to the musicality of this track, I actually think the bass lines are solid. I think the guitar progressions are solid as well when put alongside those bass lines. And I like the focus on the organic instrumentation this time around. It's a nice change for me. But I also do think that Neo himself is probably the worst part of this track. He's the one major down for me. Due to his constant flailing and wailing up and down the scale, we never really got a chance to hear a conjunct, well-formed melody without too much drum dramatization on it. It's just what I keep talking about in many of my reviews at the moment when someone tries to throw in way too many big notes into one short space and that becomes you know gradually less impressive and less memorable because everything is just at the same pace. His vibrato was also a little out of control every now and then and I think his vocals kind of just made me zone out a little bit. I think they were the like I said the biggest problem for me. That and there aren't any big transitions or anything like that or sections that vary at all within the song meaning that everything is dynamically identical whilst also being musically very similar. Lyrically, the track does totally conflict with one of his previous, you know, massive tracks, and that was so sick. And even though, because obviously he talks about being so sick of love songs and all that sort of stuff, and even though that is such a small and stupid detail, it did kind of take me out of this track once I realised it, because you knew it was just written from a, a false topic. Uh, and it's not just that, the lyrics are incredibly generic and could have been sang by anyone on any other track, and I probably wouldn't have noticed. So all in all, it's an okay track. Track, with some elements that do have potential but again it's just lacking that sort of execution so I gave it a G rating of 5.5 out of 10 because I do think it is an above average pop track so if you like this video then please leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye